Karani with the IT Expo Tech Super Show 2020, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Raj Das is with us. He's with Voxbone. Raj, welcome to the show. How are you? Wonderful. Great, thanks. Thank you for being here. So uh, we should start at the top in case someone doesn't know who Voxbone is. Someone who's not reading my blog at Tarani.com. If they did, they would know you really well because I write about you a lot. Tell us about your company. Uh, it's very straightforward. So we're a leader when it comes to the delivery of CAS services globally. So people always ask me, what does that mean? In simple terms, we provide a global SIP trunking backbone. Uh, but where we differ from a lot of the traditional players is that we've actually built our infrastructure from the ground up. So not only do we provide carrier-grade voice and messaging services by the delivery of global SIP, but we've also designed our infrastructure to be very, what I call, cloudy. It's very nimble, very agile, easy to scale, easy to deploy. Um, so let me, let me give you an example. When you look at some of the traditional players in our market, uh, I've been in telco and IT for 25 years. If you try to provision a SIP trunk, you'll notice some trends. It's actually quite slow. It's very paper heavy. It takes time to deploy. You could be on, on occasion waiting for up to 20 days. Because we're so nimble, you can actually procure a service within 15 minutes. We can have you up and running in any of the 65 countries that we operate in within 15 minutes. So the scalability factor is huge. That's, that's basically what we do. That's very impressive. So you're nimble, uh, agile company with a global footprint, and those are primary reasons that people choose you. Any other reasons we should know about? Yeah, there's actually a few. So um, as well as the ability to procure SIP trunking globally, and this is a key factor, 65 countries, we also operate as a national PSDN replacement provider in 33 of those. Both of those numbers are increasing. So our strategy is to grow where our customers need us to be. So right now we operate and cover 93% of the world's GDP. But even this year, we have a growth strategy for Southeast Asia and also Latin America. So that's one thing, global scale. Secondly, I've already said, the fact that we're cloud native and you gain all the benefits of scalability. Another real key factor why organizations come to us is the compliance piece. So, you know, Rich, I, I read your blogs. If you want to operate telecommunication services on a global basis, it's essential that you align with regulation. And that varies on a country by country basis. Sure. It's a science in its own right. Could be state by state. Uh, absolutely, right? So it's, it's ridiculously complicated. Within Voxbone, we've actually got a dedicated team to ensure that number one, if we're entering into new markets, we align with local regulation and we're compliant. But equally, getting there is one step. Staying there is something completely different. You know, we've been in this market for 15 years. We have very strong relationship with the regulators. So we ensure that we're compliant in every market that we operate in. Fantastic. Any news we should know about? Um, news, this, I think for me, there's a couple of things. The, the scalability of our service, the geographical scale, that for me is fundamental. Even at the event today, people were really surprised with the fact that we operate in 65 countries and the fact that we have PSDN replacement in 33 and we're still growing. Right. So where do you stop? Um, that was a real big thing for me. And, and the other thing I would say is, Here's where we really differ from other organizations. We're not trying to be all things to all men. What we're trying to be is the best provider globally for SIP trunking, right? So uh, for us, it, I, I don't know if you've seen our mission, but it's, it's to remove uh, complexion, uh, remove, uh, remove complication for our customers so that they can actually have very great service um, on a global basis. So we take all the, all the complication away and we make things simple for them so they can have simple comps. So I think that's probably some, some news. Now, in terms of the types of people that should reach out to you, are they typically uh, the ones that are watching? Should we be, uh, should they, if they're MSP, should they contact you? Or if they're IS, or like, what, what groups of people should contact you because you can help them? That's actually a great question. Um, I joined the business 18 months ago, and the thing that still blows my mind, we work with everyone. So we've got about 1,000 customers right now. They revolve around small to mid-market to large enterprise. But I can actually break that down even further. So uh, we work with a lot of global service providers like Telefonica, Orange Business Services, Deutsche Telekom, Telecom Italia. Uh, we work with a lot of the conferencing providers. Sparkle. Yeah, all of them, right? Um, in the conferencing space, we work with Zoom. So, I mean, this is a huge reference customer. Great, really, really strong relationship around scalability, but also bring your own carrier. We work with Arcadin, Log Me In. And then in the cloud comm space, you know, we work with the likes of Dialpad, Phone.com, 8x8. So we typically work with multiple organizations. And the value that we deliver revolves around whether we are actually helping you to make your value proposition more sticky 
So with the cloud comms providers, our pitch is, you know, your, your value is your platform. Spend the time investing in that. We'll provide the underlying infrastructure because you can't wait 15 years to have that scale, right? Uh, with the larger global service providers, we fill a gap. Um, so most of the large global service providers do not operate in the same market as us. So we help them expand their coverage. I, uh, typically, we work with everyone. How do people find you? Uh, me personally, wonderfully fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> Website. Yeah, no. Um, really, really well, actually. Um, the common theme I get from customers is, once they're with us, they don't leave. And the reason why they don't leave is because they get a great level of service. The other thing that I would say is within Voxbone, I, you know, I mentioned compliance earlier, the customer is at the center of everything that we do, right? So they know that they're gonna get a great level of service. They know that from our board members all the way through the business, the customer is at the center of everything we do. And that the other thing is quality. So again, at the event, a lot of conversations I was having was, how do you design your infrastructure to ensure a high level of quality? Because Ultimately, no one wants to deliver bad quality voice. It's really difficult to retain customers. If you're running a help desk, you need to ensure that's a great service. So yeah, the feedback I'm getting, they love us, they stay with us, and it's quite frankly why we're growing our customer base. Fantastic, thanks for being here. Appreciate it, Rich.